the highlight of um of uh of everything yeah that's that's i'm, I'm quitting world war two starting today like yeah i will never be able to top that ever i i don't even know what to do after that i mean how do you how do you process that you know <laughs> what do you do because that's like the only time in my life that i have ever hit something like that Probably the only time that I will for a long time and literally it came out of nowhere you know they say out of nowhere well this literally was I was just you know snapping for a bit of fun um, which is the way that you have fun these days and um, <laughs> that happened completely out of nowhere so I'm, I'm pretty happy about it um, yeah I, w I was over the moon about it actually I kind of just quit playing after that for the day. I'm like, right, that's my cod luck. Go on for the day. <laughs> now we're back, and I just thought I'd chill with the car for a little bit today. Uh, I'm trying out a new sniping, uh, well, hand style. What do you call it? Mouse style? Like, um, I'm just trying out a new hand style. I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know. I'm never satisfied with my aim, and there's a lot of ways to tweak it, and it kind of, kind of, kind of got to the point where I was annoyed with my grip more than anything. Teammate, could you help me out a little bit? This guy is moving like fucking Sonic right here. So I decided that uh, we'd try this out, and well, uh, you guys know me. You guys know that I don't really like the car very much because it's ridiculously overpowered, and literally everyone uses it. But after it gave me a quad, I mean, there's not much else I can really say about the weapon. The weapon, <laughs> you guys know, it's ridiculously powerful. And uh, if you get good with it, so to speak, then you will, um, well, yeah, you're a lot, you're unstoppable in a lot of ways. So, uh, I still haven't got a lot of playtime with the weapon. It's not really a weapon that I have too much fun using, just because in my head, if I know it's OP, I don't have as much fun with the weapon. But, you know, we're just fooling around with it today. And, uh, yeah, we, unfortunately, we got, like, I've only been getting crappy maps, and I keep getting, like, Gibraltar and USS freaking Texas the maps that I really don't want I'd love more Arden Forest. I mean apparently that map loves me, and I'd love a bit more of that, but apparently not so I'm still working on my aim though. It's not very it's not very responsive at the moment Probably because I haven't warmed up today at all, but um, I don't know, my aim is something I'm just never satisfied with. Like, every time I miss a shot, no matter how, you know, difficult or easy the shot, every time I miss, I'm like, ah, oh, you should have hit it, you should have hit it, and I know it's a bit unfair, you know, comparing myself to, like, really good snipers, but at the same time, I'd like to think that anything that anyone else could do, I could do as well, which is not necessarily true, because, you know, you get gods like Brad and stuff like that, but... You know, a person can dream, can't they? I'm also sweating today, and I don't mean in the good way either, I mean in the ridiculously hot way. Because it is... It's heating up in Australia, man. It's, uh, it's summer well and truly, and, uh... <laughs> I'm not a fan, I'm really not. I'm really not a fan. I, I'm not a fan of the heat, I don't like it very much, and living here in Australia in the summers gets annoying as hell. Because of how painful it is. Just purely. Could you stand still, please? Okay, my teammates will clear you up. This may be just me, but if, if everyone does one thing or plays one way, I find myself not wanting to play that way. And the fact is, everybody snipes with the car, and you, not everyone's amazing with it, but it's not that hard to do well with. Um, and, like, just the amount of people that use it on, like, a game-to-game a, a -game basis means that I really don't like using it that much. Like, in practice and in game a lot of time, I'll just use the Springfield or any other sniper rifle. Because, I don't know, I, I, I feel like if everyone uses it, it doesn't take as much skill because it's a lower skill weapon then. I don't know, it's just my way of thinking about things. But, I've always been like this, not just for Call of Duty, for any game. Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Because it looked, yeah, alright. Nice! Alright, 
I almost forgot to do a calling card showcase. I'm a bit of an idiot. I completely forgot about it. So for this video, or the remainder of this video, uh, we're going to be using this one, which is called Take Aim, which is kind of appropriate considering it's a sniping one. It's a pretty cool one about a guy in a ghillie suit taking aim at a German soldier. So I mean, it kind of fits in with the theme of today, and it's animated. It's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be rocking for the rest of the video today. My aim is something I'm never satisfied with, you know? But my aim is something that I'm very rarely satisfied with. It's just the perfectionist in in me. But I don't know. <laughs> like, if I miss a shot, I just like I, I curse myself like, ah, I shouldn't have missed it, you know? It's like I have very, very high standards for myself. So I'm always working on my aim, and it's why a lot of the time I'm hesitant to snipe in this game because my sniping accuracy is pretty bad. It says I have a 50% accuracy on my sniper rifles. That's not true. Like, that's completely ridiculous. The fact that I hit half of every shot I, like, half of every shot I take, like, I, I call bullshit on that. Like, seriously. Maybe I am being overly harsh on myself, but I'm always looking to improve my aim, and... That's why my aim isn't always the most consistent because I'm constantly trying out different sensitivities and stuff like that And I know it's not the best thing to be doing because you're supposed to stick with one sensitivity and stuff like that But I'm still on the hunt for that perfect sense, you know the perfect aim it, it always eludes me and It's something like I always see someone better than me in game and I'll be like right. This is my new goal I need to have aim like this person I don't know what you were doing, but it didn't quite work out for you, did it? Where is this guy? I don't know who votes for Gustav, I really don't. Like, I hate this map with a burning passion, and people keep voting for it. I don't know why. I mean... <laughs> I get it's a sniping map, but it's the most boring sniping map, I'm telling you. People just sit in the most retarded locations, and maybe on console it's better. Maybe on console because people have a bit more variety and they do interesting things. On PC, there's not a lot of variety, so everybody snaps on this map, because you have to snap on this map. Ah, I did not even see you up there. Head glitching your little butt off. Some guy is running around with a shovel on this map. What are you expecting to do? What are you expecting to kill? Like seriously. Because I'll tell you what you kill, you'll kill nothing. Finally, thank god it's over. Uh, I feel like I got old and died. Get off me. Oh, there's a guy up there, I'm not gonna be able to hit that. This guy's coming back again. Mr. Panda. Oh, he has a friend. Where are you? There you are. He probably has an S mine set up. Yep! Beautiful! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I should have expected that. I'm gonna snipe him. I'm just gonna hard scope him. Like, screw this guy, seriously. Is he still alive up here? Yep, get out of there, dude. Well, I don't know what you were doing, but you're certainly very dead now. And you're dead again. I'm really sorry about that. God just invaded his sport and killed him twice. You are very we fight to prove it. One person that I'm um like that I'm always envious of and like my big role model for sniping is I've mentioned him many times on the channel is of course Sprat. Oh, he's not phase Sprat anymore, he's optic Sprat of course. But uh just watching that dude play just makes me jealous of his skill and also how 
I don't want to belittle the dude, which is not my intention at all, but the lobbies that he plays in, or rather just the platform. I'm going to say the platform because that makes more sense. When you play on console, people's reaction times are slower. I'm just going to say that. They're, they're slower than they are on PC. On PC, you get people that react insanely quick just because of the, the nature of the controls we have available to so us. Like a mouse and keyboard, people react quicker. And then if you get a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard, it doesn't really do that much to improve your reaction times. Like it, it can in milliseconds, but not that much compared to, you know, a scuff controller and a uh, an ordinary controller because an ordinary controller allows you to jump and to do all kinds of crazy things that you wouldn't be able to do really on a uh, on an ordinary control unless you had a super dexterous fingers, which some people get away with and some people don't. But when you use a scuff or an elite controller, that's just the way it is. And so you get a lot more of people that have slow reaction times on console and it really shows because when you watch his gameplays, <laughs> he still plays against really, really good players, true, but a lot of the time, the people that he gets gameplays on don't have a lot of thumbs and it's just the skill ceiling on PC is a bit higher like if he came to play on PC with his controller no doubt he'd still do really well it's just feed opportunities and games like that I don't think he'd have as many of that would still happen because the guy is generally talented just not as many I don't think and that's kind of the disappointment you know I kind of wish that I could have some of his lobbies or, and stuff like that which is kind of unfair because you know if I was using a mouse and keyboard against controller players um, then of course I'd do better, but it's just, it kind of, it's kind of a bit, you know, you kind of get a bit jealous of the dude, um, just of his overall situation and stuff. I, I want to be Sprat, you know, he's, he's got a, he's got a cool skill level, he makes really good quality content and stuff like that, he's a role model to me in a lot of ways, and, you know, he's, he's a, an unobtainable goal, so to speak, like, I know that I, I'll never be able to snipe as well as him, just because, you know, there is good in them as being naturally gifted. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I am just about passing out from heat exhaustion in this room. It is so freaking hot in here. God, it's just, it's so hard to have enthusiasm when you're recording and it's like you're swimming in syrup in here. Like, anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I shall see you beautiful people in the next video. Ah. <sighs>